Um, hello guys, welcome to the channel. So today we'll be building something similar, but we're just gonna use a quite an unusual stack. So what you're going to use is you're gonna use React and also use uh, something which I created called Jabulani DB, which it's mostly for prototyping. Um, I'm not sure if it's part of it. I don't think it is. Um, we'll need quite a bit of work before it's there, but at the moment it's quite good for just getting things running and not having to set up your DB or not having to worry about how data is start and stuff so let's just get started um i already put together a project um so basically this is how our final product how it should look um then at the end of this you should be able to um basically use the app to add to delete to just update the status whether complete or not it's basically to do list a simple one and also just to search that's the functionality that we're doing with um then now we just need to create um our new um job db instance basically we just create a new folder let's say open i'm just gonna put it here and say job one one open it's okay yes i trust myself then index.js um then we also just need to initialize let's say for example any npm in it then this is fine everything is fine um then now we just need to create yet another folder database i'm just creating all the not folder actually file then another one and dot env file which will contain secret key then we can just say my key um then to usually get like instructions on how this is on how this works actually i'm just going to remove some of the stuff um yeah to get instructions on how this works this is basically how you would um do this so you would also just come here copy okay copy this this is the, the npm package we're going to use then npm i they should install your the Jablani DB. Um, you just wait a bit until it's done. Then as soon as it's done, you go to your node package and say const Jablani and say require. I don't think that's it. Then you say Jablani core. Uh, then Jablani. Then you are done. Then with this now we can basically just go we need to actually we need to do one more thing uh in this and say start and this is basically what we need to do now if we say npm start this should start our db so this is okay if we copy this link the one that we get from this if we follow it actually not copy we follow this link this should take us to this where we authenticate um you know we authenticate our db then we just have to actually let me copy this as well for our app authenticate then we are cool you see that's just about it that's that's nice um then uh, once we are since we are on this there's just another thing that um you know since you're on this um then this is basically where you'd add your data where you delete where you can see all your all the data that's on your database for example now we can go to our react project then we're just going to create a new react project to do To the list yes we're using TypeScript. yes we're using everything um then they just create our project they should create our react project um we'll just wait for it to complete but actually i don't know if this but while it's busy doing this we can actually just get into this and create all the stuff that we're gonna need for example let's create a folder for components um then also what we'll need just um another folder for utilities utils okay the power just went out 
um so as mentioned we have this we're just setting up our project um so we have a page and that should be fine um then this is we're just going to remove everything that we have here but before that we just have to make sure that our app is really running by saying npm run dev then we have a problem and the problem is i'm not in the right directory so i'm just gonna move to that and i'm not gonna write cd <laughs> npm run there um then now we're running on port 3000 and if we go to that we'll be able to see yet another thing which is what um, which is our application and currently it just has the next year's default page um then we don't need that so we're just gonna remove all the stuff we have from that remove 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 um then put our default stuff which is gonna just which is gonna simply just gonna be a div um then yeah and then i'm not gonna take too long um trying to style the components somehow so i already have some of the stuff which i'm gonna need um, for example, our app is gonna have a nav bar, a two two app, as a nav bar, not a two f, a nav bar. We should have it. So I'll just do this. Okay. So for example, why isn't this working? Um, we're just gonna have div class name. Not really. Um, since we're starting up on our app, we'll need um a nav bar, which looks nice for our app. Then we just um sort of just get this nice nav bar um, right here just basically says to do app and uh, then other stuff that we'll need for our app is uh the search the input and stuff so i already wrote down the the basic code not to rush not to waste too much time um having to do all the stuff um then basically this is what we have i'm just gonna remove this um, then basically this is what we have we have another div which has a container then a message saying welcome and input for searching and input for entering new text then a click and a button for and for basically adding new then we mapping around our two list items um then okay then if we say just basically import this it's another it's a, the, the component we have Okay, then it should be fine. For example, the to-do, I'm just surprised. Then we just also have to add the states, which basically contains our to-do list apps, our data, basically. So if I basically just put this here, this should be all we need. The new state, import that from React. And also we just, um, for using an interface, just to map our to-do list app appropriately. We'll have to get it to write this interface here as well. And so basically you could see um, at the moment we do have, we don't have this on handle, on handle. So we can just sort of like create them at the moment. Const handle. And I don't really want it to do much at the moment. Okay, this is enough. That's okay. Then we have this as well. Handle delete, that's fine. We have handle complete, that's fine. I think those are the three important things we need so now we're just going to demonstrate how it looks uh, by just simply putting some placeholder that said to do this i'm gonna do this chat gave me a couple of um, yeah and that's fine i'm um, sorry and i'll add this as well then we're looking good sorry i don't know what keyboard is a bit too far from my hands my phone just fell <laughs> um so yeah we have this so we're just gonna take a look at how our app looks. it's still running and if we go to this it's complaining and saying blah 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 client that's uh, a solvable thing you can just basically come here and say use client and this should solve our problem then now we do have tasks on our to the list app but they are basically within the state whether we delete or not the data will still come and say hey guys i'm still here and i'm sure even if we click oh it works if we click complete because uh, basically let me just go through the the card component how it works at the moment so the card component basically takes its complete on delete um on complete as well so it shows the title then also shows this based on the status of the the thing the to do item um then basically yeah yeah basically that and has two buttons one for completing one for deleting so if we go back to this um then we should be fine now um they're not just to make our app 
the, the, the meat of the app actually because we were supposed the intention of this is not just to have an app that uses our state just basically stores data and whenever you come back it loses the data now the intention is to um for the app to look like a practical app which has what a database so we're just going to modify this functions we have here to actually use uh, something which we have that uh, but before that we'll need to go into our data uh gen basically we'll need to go to our this data file um then we just basically have to add the logic to connect to our what jablani db and what we need is we will need to use api source which are already installed um api source then basically just the url then we say api create we just have to create an instance of our api i'm just um so basically we create that um now we just have to add multiple um basically all the operations we have for our collection and our collection name collection name is task so we just going to target task in this application in this application so we don't need to do much anything complicated so i'm just going to do this and have this this is for adding um and i'll just hard code the value as well for task in order um because this is not much of a complex app so i'm just then another thing we have we have get task we have add task then we're just going to have also uh two for two more for deleting and updating and we'll need to expose these things you can you know it's, it's how you write it it's up to you honestly uh, but you need to expose it so this is basically exposing this add get delete um to our, the rest of our application so we'll go in here now now we're actually going to make use of those stuff in order to interact with our database and with our database because as you saw at the moment it's just pulling data directly from the thing from the state and just um acting on it but as soon as we come back to our app it loses everything so now we're just adding a couple of methods to our app i'm just gonna remove i should append them make sure not remove uh, but this is it then importing them from that data from that data file then we also have this and this as well so i'm just gonna import this as well um then importing this as well now then on our use effect now we no longer need to just hard code values we can basically just go to this and say get data should be fine now then now let's test how our apps our app works at the moment uh, if i refresh we should the thing uh, to do is now that's okay we can just add a question mark here just in case it's not uh, then refreshing our app it basically has nothing at the moment um then let's add a new item item okay then we can see let me because it's in dark mode so the text on the input comes out white somehow so let me just do text black I just want to make sure that the text is black so we could see it and also do this for the the searching as well text black then save then we have item uh see cook food this is the first item it's not adding so you'd ask yourself why is it not adding um then basically let me do this our network i just want to see why it's not then post it's basically saying what response there's literally no response i'll just also inspect if this is running this looks to be running um then let's just go see maybe the pod on our data file is invalid so yeah it is invalid so the part change the part and also one thing that i think might be wrong as well it's this it's this token key is this key um then i'll just change that as well in order for our app to work with this database uh, and now we should be fine i'd like to think we should be fine and refreshing our app now we do have quite um some data which is already on our database let me just delete that this, just to test the delete as well it works let's say cook something cool mm -hmm. edit that hmm. add new item done go back to sleep done write code again done say hi to stranger then done so basically um another thing that we're testing 
um it's um update wax you can see now we have update text in the screen update wax update wax update wax so also searching let's say add searching wax as well but with searching we're not actually integrating it with our database instead what we're doing is just filtering out our items based on the title um so yeah guys that's that's it basically that's how our application works um our to do list works it's quite simple to put together it doesn't take a lot of time and it's good for prototyping especially job and db it's very good for prototyping just to see how something will work um and as soon as you basically get a hang of it you can just basically switch or whenever you're building a thing you can basically switch to something practical but i'm not sure if it's part ready but it's, it's quite good thank you